Hey everybody, Steve here from Tech Support, back with another quick video for you. Today I am introducing our new camera control software. It's just been released as of today. You can find it on the support tab of our website. It is called BG Control. So I've got a little desktop recording here and I am going to walk you through the basics of it. It's pretty simple. Anybody can use it and it works with any of our IP PTZ cameras. So I'm going to go ahead, open this guy up here. Wait a few beats while we wait for this thing to load up and there it is. So if you need to move this control window around, make sure you grab it by the title here and drag it to where you want. Once you get it set where you like, you can start adding your cameras. So to do that, we're going to go to settings and select cameras. From there, we'll go add and title our camera. This will be camera one. Punch in your IP address. And we're going to put in our VSCA port and our RTSP port. Uh, standard VSCA port on our cameras is 1259. Our TSP port is going to be 554. Username and password, mine are still just the standard admin admin. And just like that, my camera's in there. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to be creative and call that one camera two. And same settings for everything. If I can type, we'll do a lot better. All right, there we are. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now you'll see my cameras over here in the control window. Uh, as long as I've got this camera highlighted, if I grab this little joystick here, move it around, lets my camera move. Uh, these little check boxes here next to each camera bring up a display window. Those pull in the RTSP stream over your network, and uh, it's pretty handy for setting presets. Lets you know exactly what you're looking at. You notice in camera two, we've got my good friend Florante here behind the camera. Get a little bit better shot of him. He looks like more than a camera lens in real life, I promise. There he is. So we'll go ahead and do a preset and we're going to select this bookmark key right here. Captures an image. We'll go ahead and title that one Florante and hit OK. And now that's recorded as a preset. If I move my camera away and I want to go back to that preset, all I have to do is highlight it, hit the play button right here and it'll jump right back. And there he is again. So same story on camera one. I can jump back over to this guy here move it around, watch myself on TV. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and bookmark that. I'll show that one to mom. We'll call that one Steve. It's a good name. And uh, same thing, move it away. Want to recall it, highlight it, hit play. Back it goes. If I need to get rid of that preset, I just highlight the camera I'm after, highlight the preset I want to get rid of, and hit the trash can. Sorry, Florante. You're out of there, buddy. Just like that, no more preset, no more Florante, unfortunately. But he'll be back, don't worry. Uh, other than that, we don't have a whole lot more to do here. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. You can uh, keep stacking cameras in there. Once you get past about four of these preview windows, they are in HD preview, so things get a little bit slow. If you add more than that, go ahead and deselect the preview window there and make sure you've only got up the few that you need to set your presets on or that you need to monitor. That's all there is to it. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you uh, go to our website and check it out and we'll see you the next time.